Joe Biden has completely lost it. And when I saw this, th this new clip, I admit I laughed. And then I started to get really angry when I saw the faces of Sanjay Gupta and Anderson Cooper, because these people are starting to really piss me off. Joe Biden is not there. His brain doesn't work. Stop doing this. It is disgusting what they are doing to this guy. I get it, man. It's all funny. Everybody laughs. Look at Joe Biden. He can't talk. He can't remember things. He's struggling to read notes and he can't even read. He's completely out of his mind. And I'm not saying that to, to, to disrespect Joe Biden. I'm actually sympathizing at this point. This is elder abuse. I'm not trying to be funny. I mean that seriously. To put this guy on TV, what the media does, they're basically arguing for something that doesn't exist. I'm seeing all these news articles pop up saying Joe Biden, here's what he thinks versus Donald Trump. Joe Biden doesn't think anything. He can't even talk on TV. He can't articulate a clear thought. He can't form complete sentences. It is time for him to go home and to go to sleep, enjoy a nice hot cocoa with the family and sit by the fire. I am not saying that to be mean. I will be mean to these people who are putting them on TV. I will be mean to the Democratic establishment. This has gone on too long. Look at this. Biden appears to forget what he's talking about during a CNN interview. This, this is, I, I'm, I've never been, look, you know, we've seen all the videos from Biden. We've seen it happen. And I've laughed. I've laughed. We all have. This is sick and twisted at this point. Look, it's one thing when Joe Biden's on the debate stage and he, and he stumbles a word and slurs. And you think, oh man, Joe Biden's teeth slept. We know he's old. It's gotten to the point where his cognitive decline has become so absurd and apparent that putting him on TV is abuse. And I think we've, we're, we, we should all be done with this. What do you think is going to happen? Everybody knows this guy can't stand next to Donald Trump. They're, CNN actually tried to let Joe Biden sit down in a debate with Bernie Sanders. And there was a huge, a, a, a huge controversy because Joe Biden could not stand up. They're like, we'll make it less formal. Have him sit in a couch, sit on a little sofa. Enough, man. CNN, enough. Daily Caller writes, former Vice President Joe Biden stumbled through a CNN interview Thursday night while criticizing President Donald Trump's response to the coronavirus pandemic. The presumptive Democratic presidential nominee suggested that Trump should start a pandemic production board, similar to the War Production Board that President Franklin Roosevelt began at the start of America's involvement in World War II. You know, Oh, man, I'm going to read this. And I'm going to stop before I read this and point something out. I do not believe for two seconds when they say Joe Biden had a stutter. That's why he struggles to speak. Don't disparage the man's stutter. Oh, shut up. The dude doesn't know what he's saying. And that's what they, oh, but he's always had a stutter. That's not stuttering, man. This is him not being able to speak. Let me read you this quote from Joe, from Joe Biden. Quote, you know, there's during World War II, you know where Roosevelt came up with that thing that, you know, was totally different than, uh, than he called it, you know, World War II. He had the War Production Board, Biden said, looking down at his notes. I don't know why we don't set up something like a pandemic production board. Donald Trump Jr. responded to the video on Twitter saying he was excited to see his father debate Biden this fall. Yeah, you know what, man? I get it. That's the joke we've made. It'd be like pay-per-view. It's going to be entertaining. It's going to be like a comedy sensual roast, said one guest on the Joe Rogan podcast. Oh, you know it. I don't know, man. Maybe maybe Trump will uh, be more empathetic and say, come on, man, enough of this. This is sick. Donald Trump Jr. tweeting, debates gonna be fire. They go on to say that Biden has had a number of verbal uh, blunders in recent weeks. Look how many stories they have here. This is ridiculous. Three different links. Now I want to show you. Well, let's, I'll, I'll load that up. Here's a tweet from Glenn Greenwald. I agree with this tweet. Let me read it for you. Glenn said, let me say again, I've been on cable hundreds of times. I've watched thousands of segments over the years. I've literally never seen one person until Joe Biden who has to read from notes to answer questions from a cable TV host. And even with that, he often gets lost. Glenn's correct. Here's what the first response is. So when Bernie is asked literally any question and gives the same robotic response about billionaires and Medicare for all, that makes him sharp, sharp as a tack. Yes, yes, it does. Bernie Sanders can instantly recall his talking point. This is how the media works. I, too, have been on cable many times, not nearly as many as, as Glenn Greenwald. I also host a show where I have no script and I often ramble. And yes, many people get upset because sometimes I repeat myself, maybe too much. I apologize for that. It happens. 
Sometimes I am trying to drive emphasis. You know, I'll like say something and then try and be like, and that's why this and here and that's why this. But I, but I, I get it. I'm not perfect. But what Joe Biden is doing is something very different. I too have watched cable over the years. I've never seen someone look down and struggle to read a note card when they appear in a show. I've never seen it. You, you, you watch podcasts, right? All these different podcasts, people can hold conversations with each other. Let me ask you something. If you want to meet with someone and you ask them a question, so what do you do for a living? And they look down at a card and said, uh, well, I did, uh, well, um, you know, a couple of years ago, uh, my job in, in, in manufacturing, it's, uh, I, you know, I, I, it's, uh, um, the, the thing with my manufacturing, you'd be like, whoa, dude, I, I literally just asked you a simple question. You don't need notes for this. Clearly something is wrong with Joe Biden if we're seeing it over and over again. And everybody can see it. I get it, man. Progressives want to point it out. Here's what uh, we have from the Daily Caller. This is another story from just a couple days. Uh, I'm sorry. This is from last year. Some backers say seeing less of Biden means fewer gaffes. Let me tell you, they've actually tried this. They said, maybe we just don't put Joe on TV anymore. Maybe we make sure he doesn't do any late night shows, appearances or debates because he just can't. And, and this was back in August. They knew it was getting bad. I've told this to my friends. You know, when you watch these videos of Biden in his home, I'll tell you what, man, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I think Joe is, I, th- I think he may be getting near his, uh, his end. And I'm not trying to say that to be disrespectful or shocking or mean. I mean that with the utmost concern and sincerity. When, when you look at people who are getting on in years, their decline starts getting worse and worse and worse. It's exponentially worse. You'll see one gaff. A day later, you'll see two gaffes, then four gaffes, then eight, then 16, then 32. And then eventually they can't speak. Joe Biden, just the other day on CNN, could not speak. And here's what I see in the news. First, take a look at this story from The Hill, just recently published. I just grabbed a random story, any old story. Joe Biden's record on social security isn't perfect, but Donald Trump's is far worse. I tell you what, man, they are putting up a mannequin next to Donald Trump. There is no Joe Biden. I'm sorry. It's the truth. There is no Joe Biden. The man is not there. There's no policy for Joe Biden. There's no debate for Joe Biden. The media is creating the debate for him. Donald Trump is debating no one. Take a look at these stories. I do a Google search, right, for Joe Biden. Karl Rove debates Donna Brazil on Obama's unusual way of endorsing Biden. Not really about him. Biden is losing the Internet. Does that matter? No, Biden isn't losing the Internet. There is no Biden. That's why he has no followers. Okay, I get it. He's got millions right across the board. Donald Trump has 100 million plus. Bernie Bernie Sanders and Trump both had way more YouTube subscribers. Joe Biden doesn't have any because Joe Biden isn't actually a candidate. He's not. He's got no ideas and he can't talk. He's literally just an old man sitting. You know, you know, it's really funny. Remember Mike Gravel? He was the former, I think, uh, I think it was a senator from Alaska. And they said, ah, he's not really running. He's old and retired. What do you think Joe Biden is? He's a placeholder for what? A VP, I guess. I have no idea. Here's this one. Uh, Democrats grapple with questions about Tara Reid, allegations against Joe Biden. Once again, the media is having a conversation that Joe Biden is not having. Pro Biden super PAC snubbed by campaign vows. Joe Biden's record. Joe Biden has a China problem. Biden says he's already choosing a transition team. Who will Joe Biden pick? Joe Biden's Medicare for all mistake. None of this is real. There isn't anything Joe Biden could offer you. When he goes on TV and they say, hey, Joe Biden, how was lunch yesterday? And he goes, blah, 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 and he can't talk. He's not there anymore. You know, this story was funny when they, when they wrote it. March 24th, just only three weeks ago. Stay alive, Joe Biden. Democrats need little from the front runner beyond his corporeal presence. And this should have been a bigger red flag for us. I get it. It was a joke. It was funny. They were saying we just want the idea of Biden, but they mean it. They're not here to to take Joe Biden at his word. Let, 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 let me frame it this way. A president is someone with ideas. Donald Trump said China is bad and we need to build a wall. That, that was Trump. Trump says it loud and proud. Build that wall over and over again. He wants to do something. And you know, people criticized him for it. They said the wall is a stupid idea. It's a waste of money. Joe Biden said nothing. He can't say anything. He has no ideas. He's presenting no debate. The media is propping him up. When Trump, I'm sorry, when Biden comes out and says, gumble, mumble, gerdigel, schmid, they say, Joe Biden offers up interesting critique of the president. And they cut out the nonsensical garbled gibberish. 
and then just, well, here's what we think Biden meant. Yeah, okay. You let me know when Biden's sitting there complaining about the moon people and, you know, acting like it. it wasn't there something where one of his gaffes was, he thought it was like 1972. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making this up. He like referenced something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Paris Peace Accord or something like that. Like it was the end of World War II or some ridiculous nonsense. He just didn't know what he was saying. It's like, maybe you were there back then, Joe. We don't know where you're at today. The signs have been clear to everybody. And you know what? When Steven Crowder said he thought that this guy had dementia, NewsGuard, the rating agency said, that's not true. He's not a medical degree. So we give him a false rating. That's how, they, that's how they do it. The media is trying so hard to make this guy a thing. He's not. You can criticize Bernie, but Bernie could snap up a talking point in two seconds. He goes on Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan asks him a question and Bernie says, Medicare for all and the billionaires. Medicare for all and the billionaires, the millionaires, the billionaires. I'll stop saying millionaire because I'm a millionaire now. Yeah, the guy could talk. Joe Biden's not here anymore, man. I'm getting angrier every time I see this stuff because it's very clearly just abuse of an old guy who doesn't know what's going on. I can't, whatever, man, he's got free will. What can I say? I'll leave it there. I got a couple more segments coming up for you in a few minutes. I'll see you all shortly.